everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. I am going to teach you today a new technique and we are going to be making this really pretty yet simple card. So let's get started. I did want to share with you the background piece of paper that I always use for all of my cards. I buy packs of eight and a half by 11 card stock at Michael's. Generally, there are a couple of times a year that you can get them quite inexpensively. I usually get a pack of white and a pack of ivory. Depending on the type of cards I wanna make, um, some of the cards, like this one for instance, I used the ivory because the colors in the card uh, primarily are ivory. But then I have other cards, like this birthday one um, that you've seen me make in the past. And for this, I use white because the colors are primarily white. So I like having both on hand, but all I do is take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock and cut it right in half. That is how I make my cards. So this pack has 50 sheets, which means this will make 100 cards. I usually can get it for about $1.20, $1.25 when everything's on sale right around the holidays. Um, sometimes they have them on sale other times of year as well, so keep an eye out for that. So let's get started. So I'm gonna take my white sheet of paper, fold it in half, and use my scissors along the crease to make it a nice, clean fold. I'm then going to take my pre-cut pieces, which I will Put all of the information about the size in the comments below in case you'd like to make something along the same lines of these. I am again going to be using K & Company paper. It is two-sided, but I am choosing to use this floral side. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. So this is going to be glued across the middle of my card. And down just like this. So as you can see, I've used my Elmer's glue that's purple and dries clear and I've just glued that right across the middle of my card. Next I'm going to take this cute little piece of gray cardstock. It's from the same paper pack in the K & Company paper pad that I purchased. And I'm just going to glue this right along the bottom. Make sure it's straight and make sure it's pressed down good so the glue can adhere. And it looks just like that. Next, I'm going to take this really pretty piece of turquoise aqua paper from the same pack. The thing that I really, really like about the packs of paper that K and Company sell is that generally within the pack, all of the pages coordinate. So you can take little pieces of different pages throughout the pack to put together and create one really pretty card. If you like stacking pages or layering um, papers like I do. So that piece I'm just gonna put right along the side where the card creases and make sure it's glued down. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I just have this white strip of paper. I'd like to add a little bit of color to it, um, give it a little um, dimension look. So I'm gonna take a sponge. This was a round sponge that I just cut into pieces. As you can see, I have several pieces of the sponge in my bag with different colored ink. I'm gonna use a close to my heart stamp pad. The color is blush and it matches this uh, paper from this pack perfectly, as you can see. So I am going to use my stamp pad, and I'm just going to tap my sponge in here, and I'm just going to tap it onto my white paper to add some color, just like that. As you can see, I have a sample piece of paper under me um, so that I don't get anything on my table. And it turns out really, really interesting. So now I'm going to, as you can see on this sample, 
The bottom has little flaps up, so it kind of looks like a little tag coming down. So all I'm gonna do is take my scissors. I'm gonna start on one corner here, and I'm just gonna head up towards the middle. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and head up towards the middle. And I'm just going to go a little bit each way until I meet and my piece comes out like so. I am going to glue this on, but I'm going to use my foam roll. I'm going to put one on the top and one on the bottom so that it pops up just a little. Gives it a little bit of a 3D look. And I'm going to stick that at the top, just like that. And see how pretty the coloring matches the flowers, almost like it was made to go together. Um, next, I'm gonna take my button and I'm gonna glue it on with a glue dot. Glue dots are really, really awesome. Um, and if you have watched any of my videos, you've seen that I use them in a lot of different projects. They work really great and they, they don't take any drying or require any drying in order to stick. And you can stick heavier objects like buttons onto your cards or your projects and they stick instantly. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use one of my little brown pearls, add to the top just to tie in the brown from the paper over here, and that's all. So this is a card that didn't require any stamping or anything difficult to make. Um, some people don't like stamping, they just like using papers and creating a pretty uh, feature card like this. So that's what I've done. This can be used for a friend, a mother, a grandmother. Um, it can be used really for any occasion because it doesn't specifically say it on the front of the card, and you can just add your words to the inside. So. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning a new technique using sponges. You can also use sponges on a piece of paper and just sponge even like on a tag the edges. Just to add a little color. So keep that in mind the next time you are working on a project and you're just looking for something new and something a little bit different. Sponges um, can be used for a lot of different things and they're really awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't see my last video, it's gonna be right over here. So just click on it and watch. Don't forget to click over here to subscribe. Bye.